Welcome back. This is going to be our Algebra 2 Series and Sequences Unit Lesson 1 Sequences Homework Review Part 2. On uh, the first one, we had gone over uh, finding, finding the, uh, the first four terms for each of those different, uh, for different rules they gave for the really explicit definitions for each of those sequences and all. It's kind of filled in things. This one here, we're going to be uh, finding, in this case, the uh, next three terms of each of these uh, sequences that are defined recursively. Now, there, a sequence defined recursively really has two things, our first term, which is F1 or A1. Uh, so, and then, of course, it then tells us how to find each term based upon the previous one. And so we're going to use this rule to help use rules to help us find each of the next three terms. So let's start off with uh, A, F1 equals 4, so we know that's our first term. So we want to find our next term, F2. So F2, since N is 2, we're going to define, it's really going to be defined as F of 2 minus 1 plus 8. And now that would mean in this case that F2 equals f1 plus 8. Well, we know what f1 is equal to. f1 is 4. So we know in this case f2 is equal to 4 plus 8. f2 is equal to 12. We'll repeat this process again now, but f3 for our third term. So we know in this case, we'll put this down here, F2 is equal to 12. And that's going to be important for us because we're going to use that information later on for our third term. Because F3 is equal to F3 minus 1, because N is 3, plus 8. That leads us to F3, our third term, is equal to F2, our second term, plus 8. Well, we would then just take F2, which we know to be 12, plus 8, and that's 20. So our third term is F3, 20. Now we want to find the next one, okay? And again, we're following the formula. The fourth term is equal to F of 4 minus 1 plus 8, which means the F4, the fourth term, is equal to F3, the third term, plus 8. And F3 we found to be 20. So we add 20 plus 8 to give us 28. And so the fourth term is equal to 28. And these are the next three terms in the recursive sequence. Recursive defined, uh, the recursively defined sequence. Okay? Now for B. B says we have A sub n, or A of n, equals, should be, this should be A here. Sorry about that, ladies and gentlemen, put A here. A of n minus 1 times 1 half. And then, so A1 equals 24. So we'll kind of follow along here. And so we'll begin with A2, because A1 is 24, A2 equals a 2 minus 1 times 1 half. And a 2 minus 1 is really going to be a 1. So we have a 2 equals a 1 times 1 half. And so that would be, in this case, a 1 we know is 24. So 24 times 1 half is 12. And so our second term, a 2, equals 12. And so again, this looks a little bit different from before because we use F1 and F2 and F3 and F4. This one we use AN, okay, and AN minus 1 just means, in this case, N being the number term here. And so the second term, 2, will be, in this case, will equal to the first term times 1 half. We follow along the same way for A3. So A3 equals A 3 minus 1 times 1 half, which means in this case, a 3 
equals a two times one half. And a two we know is 12. So that would be 12 times one half and that's six. So our third term is six. Now we're showing all the steps here. At some point you'll be like, oh wait, let's just, just multiply the previous term by one half now. They do get a little more complicated. And I wanna make sure that we are very clear about how we approach these problems. And we're just kind of plugging in the end values for each one and then working from there. Now I wanna find A4, the fourth term, which is gonna be A4 minus one times one half. So that means A4, the fourth term, equals A3, the third term, times one half. And so that's equal to the third term, which is six times one half, is gonna be three. So our fourth term in this situation would be A4 is equal to three. Okay, and so these are the next three terms in the, the, def the sequence defined recursively for B. All right, now let's find C. Now we use B sub n is equal to B sub n minus one plus two n, where B one is five. And they're defined differently, you know, but using subscripts, but they really mean the same thing. And B one is gonna be the first term. So B two would be the next one we're looking for. So we use the following. B two, notice n is two is equal to b of two minus one plus two times two because n is two. That means we're gonna have b two equal to b one plus four. And so we're gonna get in this case, b two is equal to five plus four or nine. So our second term is nine. We continue and we use, we find B3, our third term. And B3 will be equal to B3 minus one as our, you know, in this case, plugging it in. But remember N is three, so it's two times three. Okay, so the same N in the beginning is the same N throughout the whole unit. And so here, we're just with whole, whole formula in this case. So we have here B3 equals B2 plus six. So that must mean in this case that B3 equals nine plus six or 15. So our third term is 15. And then finally, the fourth term, B4, is equal to b4 minus 1 plus 2 times 4. Remember, we're matching the n's, okay? That's what we do first. Always fill in the number first for n. And then we continue. b4 is equal to b3, the third term, plus 8, leading us to say that the fourth term, b4, is equal to 15 plus 8, or 23. So the fourth term is 23. And we see here that we're increasing each time. We go from, we're going from, in this case, from five to nine, then from nine to 15, and from 15 to 23, that the numbers we increase each time is gonna be really increasing by twos, right? Not adding by two, but, add, but we're adding two more previous from before. And it has to do with the fact that there's two n here. There's two n, okay? And finally we have D, Move this up a little bit. D is Fn is equal to two times Fn minus one minus n squared. And so for this one here, we know F1 is four. So F2 equals two times F of two minus one minus two squared. And that would be equal to, we'll say F2 is equal to two times F1 minus four, but F1 we know is four. So F2 equals two times four minus four, and eight minus four is just four. So we'll say in this case, our second term F2 is equal to four.
and we continue with f3. Our third term is 2 times, or n is 3, 2 times f of 3 minus 1 minus 3 squared, because again, this whole n squared here. And so we're going to get, in this case, f3 is equal to 2 times f2 minus 9 which means f3 is equal to 2 times 4 minus 9, or negative 1. So f3 equals negative 1. Our third term equals negative 1. And it's possible to have negative numbers for our, in our sequence, okay? It is possible. Now we find the fourth term, f4, equals 2 times f4 minus 1, minus 4 squared. Okay, notice that we're going to be constantly plugging in the n first and then simplifying each way. So we say f4 equals 2 times f3 minus 16. Minus 16. So that means in this case f4 equals 2 times negative 1 minus 16 is negative 2 minus 16 minus 16 equals negative 18. And so the fourth term of the sequence is negative 18. Okay? And there you go. Those are going to be the next four terms in each of these sequences. Let me make this full page so you can see everything here. And it's very colorful. <laughs> so, but I hope this is helpful. <clears throat> if you, and so we see here, I hope you're working everything out because in a recursively defined sequence, you can't necessarily find the fourth term without finding the third term, without finding the second term. And so you kind of you have to build on one one to the other to the other to the other. So it's not very evident what the last term in the sequence will be if we go four terms or five terms or whatever. Okay? All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is going to be the end of our algebra two series and sequences unit lesson number one on sequences hold review part two uh, again if you found this helpful please give us a video a like appreciate it and of course subscribe to the channel if you have not done so already turn on notifications to be alerted when new videos are added okay and leave comments and questions below we really look forward to hearing from you guys all right i'll see you guys in the next video take care and be safe